I am directly controlling this 3D printer and an attached laser with a mouse and keyboard. I'm going to share how you can too. How this works is that G-code commands are sent directly from the computer to the 3D printer through its micro USB port, enabling you to control the stepper motors and attachments like the laser. Python is used to get input from the keyboard and mouse and interpret this to send G-code to the 3D printer. For a more detailed explanation of how to set things up, check out my last video, which I've linked to in the video description. I've shared two separate Python programs for this video on my GitHub, one that uses input from a mouse and keyboard, and another that uses input solely from a keyboard. The link to the GitHub repository is in the video description. Using the program with mouse tracking is quite fun. You move the 3D printer by moving your cursor, fire the laser by left-clicking, turn the laser off by right-clicking, and move vertically by using the up and down keys on your keyboard. Once the laser is turned on, the 3D printer will engrave whatever shape you trace with your cursor. Note that the program won't let you damage the 3D printer by moving too far. The essence of the code is a loop that runs until the key Q is pressed, and within that loop are a bunch of if statements that correspond to moving the mouse, clicking the mouse, or pressing a key on the keyboard, and each sends a G-code command to the 3D printer, for example to move a bit in a certain direction or to turn on the laser. Using the program with just keyboard input allows you to move the 3D printer more carefully and precisely. You move in any direction using the four arrows as well as the keys W and S. You can turn the laser on by pressing O and turn the laser off by pressing P. If you want to have the laser briefly flash to get a sense of where it is, you can press the spacebar. This code is very similar to the mouse tracking code in that there is a loop and a bunch of if statements within that loop that send different G-code commands depending on which key is pressed. To use a 3D printer as a custom 3D positioning system in your DIY projects, you might want to start by playing around and manually controlling the 3D printer with a mouse and keyboard. And if that's promising, you can automate the functions with more code, as I did in the last video. Thanks for watching.